In this video, we will show you how to fix morphs on clothing. We will use two methods. First, we will use GoZ Bridge, going to ZBrush. And the other method we will use is just exporting OBJ and bringing that back in through Morph Loader Pro. When fixing morphs on clothing, uh, I just like to start from a clean slate. So I'm going to first load the dev load version of the figure. So I'm going to find the female dev load for Genesis 8. And then I'm going to load the banana suit. All right, so one thing you want to do is just, uh, now in the case of this banana suit, it applies some things to the figure when it loads on, kind of like shoes do. And so I'm going to restore the figure. So Control shift f restores my figure. Uh, if I go to currently used in the parameters pane, I shouldn't see anything. Make sure you also have show hidden properties turned on. Uh, nothing is dialed up, so that's good. We're at a clean slate, and there shouldn't be anything on the gr on the banana either. That's true. Okay, now we can go ahead and dial up the problem morphs, uh, or go through the morphs to find which ones are a problem. Now you can do this a couple of different ways. You can dial up a full figure, and that dials the head and body. But I'm actually going to keep it clean because this this outfit covers the head and the body. It's going to be affected by both, so I need to go through one morph at a time. That's the cleanest way. So I'm going to go under full body, people, real world, and I'm going to dial up Alexandra body and see. And it does get a little lumpy, and so to fix this, what you'd want to do is you want to go to the gear icon for that morph that you dialed up. And you want to copy this name. Keep this for later. Either put it in text file or just don't copy and paste anything else after this for a while or however you want to do it that name is very important and you need to keep it around for later okay uh, in this case I can actually go into ZBrush and so I'm going to just select both those export deformations and now it loads in and I've got my banana suit selected and you can do some cleanup to fix it so I'm just going to smooth this a little bit I just want to do something that's kind of noticeable. Oh, rest poked out a little bit. Okay, so now that I've done my fix, I can hit Go Z to go back. Now here, settings are very important. First of all, the name, you need to paste that name that you copied originally. And then for uh, overwrite existing, you want to say deltas only. That will make it so that it can update the morph rather than trying to create a new morph. I hit accept. And you can see the change came through right away. So we know we did it right. Uh, so that is how you would update a morph, uh, fix it, uh, by using GoZ. If you do not have ZBrush, then the method is slightly more manual. And so I will show that right now as well. We have the suit and we have the figure with a morph dialed up, the Alexander body. What we will do is we're going to export, just say female, out to OBJ. And then we're going to export the banana suit out to OBJ. And then we'll load those into a modeler, do the fixes, and then bring the fixes back in. So to do that, we can go ahead and hide the banana suit and export her. Morph name doesn't really matter in this case. So we can just go ahead and do Data Studio Scale do that now again we want to copy this name all right let's go to the banana suit and one thing you need to check is to make sure that the resolution is correct we don't want to do high resolution so if there's sub D you need to change it back to base and then export that and FBM Alexander 8 we name it exactly that name and write that out now we'll go into our modeler to fix it Right, so when I did my fix, I made sure to overwrite that original FBM Alexander 8 that I had written out. All right, so that it's the same name. Now with the banana suit selected, the morph still dialed up. Um, we're going to load this morph. And again, for settings, we want to say overwrite existing deltas only. So I just hit accept, and you can see. I messed up and the reason is because Alexandra has translation going on 
on her hip. So what we can do is we can run that again. And let's load that morph again. And we want reverse deformations to be set to yes. And then deltas only. And then there you go. Now our change came in just fine. Now that you have updated all your morphs, the next thing to do would be to save them out. And you can do this a couple of different ways. You can save just the morphs or you can save the whole figure. In this case, let's go ahead and just save the whole banana suit and make it easy. Now before we do that, remember we changed the resolution level to base, so let's change that back to high resolution uh, so that we don't cause this to load in without the sub-D applied. And then go to File, Save As, Support Asset, Figure Prop Asset, and then you go and you overwrite the original DUF file that, that loads this banana suit, and then it'll cause all the morphs to get written out. And then you're done.